by President Trump in, in, his, in his last term. We find ourselves in a situation where, number one, we have to make sure that we have a fair tax system. I ask anyone out there in the audience or anyone out watching this debate, do you think the tax system is fair? The fact is that I said nobody even making under $400,000 had a single penny increase in their taxes and will not. And if I'm reelected, that will be the case again. But this guy is, has increased your taxes because of the deficit, number one. He's increased inflation because of the debacle he left after the way he handled the pandemic. And he finds himself in a position where he now wants to tax you more by putting a 10 percent tariff on everything that comes into the United States of America. What I did when, for example, he wants to get away with the, get rid of the ability of Medicare to uh, the, for the ability to for the us to be able to negotiate drug prices with the big pharma companies. Well, guess what? We got it. We got it down to 15, excuse me, $35 for insulin instead of $400. No more than $2,000 for every senior, no matter what they, how much prescription they need. You know what that did? That reduced the federal deficit debt by $160 billion over 10 years because the government doesn't have to pay the exorbitant prices. I'm going to make that available to every senior all, all along, or it's happening now, and everybody in America. He wants to get rid of that. We have, I'm going to make sure that we have child care. We're going to significantly increase the credits that people have for child care. I'm going to make sure we do something about what we're doing on lead pipes and all the things that are causing health problems for people across the country. We're going to continue to fight to bring down inflation and give people a break. Thank you, President Biden. President Trump, you now have two minutes for your closing statement. Like so many politicians, this man is just a complainer. He said, we want to do this, we want to do that, we want to get rid of this tax, that tax. But he doesn't do anything. He doesn't do — all he does is make our country unsafe by allowing millions and millions of people to pour in. Our military doesn't respect him. We look like fools in Afghanistan. Uh, we didn't stop Israel. It was such a horrible thing. That would have never happened. It should have never happened. Iran was broke. Anybody that did business with Iran, including China, they couldn't do business with the United States. They all passed. Iran was broke. They had no money for Hamas or Hezbollah, for terror, no money whatsoever. Again, Ukraine should have never happened. He talks about all the stuff, but he didn't do it. For three and a half years, we're living in hell. We have the Palestinians and we have everybody else rioting all over the place. You talk about Charlottesville. This is a hundred times Charlottesville, a thousand times. The whole country is exploding because of you because they don't respect you, and they have to respect their president, and they don't respect you throughout the world. What we did was incredible. We re rebuilt the military. We got the largest tax cut in history, the largest regulation cut in history. The reason he's got jobs is because I cut the regulations that gave jobs, but he's putting a lot of those regulations back on. All of the things that we've done, nobody's ever — never seen anything like Even from a medical standpoint, right to try, where we can try space-age materials instead of going to Asia or going to Europe and trying to get when you're terminally ill. Now you can go and you can get something. You sign a document. They've been trying to get it for 42 years. But, you know, what we did for the military was incredible choice for our soldiers, where our soldiers, instead of waiting for three months to see a doctor, can go out and get themselves fixed up and readied up and take care of themselves and their living. And that's why I had the highest approval rating in the history of the VA. So all of these things, we're in a failing nation, but it's not going to be failing anymore. We're going to make it great again. Thank you, former President Trump, President Biden. Stay with us because we 